Greetings, comrades. My name is Demorora, and welcome back to From the Depths. Now, I am very sorry for two failed seasons of From the Depths in a row, but I really, really could not help the last one. I have no idea what happened to my saves, but that's not why we're here today. We are here because of the Ashes of the Empire campaign, which was widely recommended. So I had to go with the, uh, with the crab populace, so here we are, and let's start it up. So, we're going right into the campaign, and here we go. This campaign takes place ten years before the Quest for Nidor main campaign. This is during the time of the Great Civil War that tore the Steel Empire apart into the independent factions. In this corner of Nidor, the Broken Empire is fighting for vital land rights, and you find yourself right in the middle of it all. Good luck. Now, I will not be reading this, I read this before, so if you guys want to read it, pause the video right now, and we will continue on. So, what about down here? I will not be changing the difficulty modifier, I will only change the growth modifier if it turns out to be a little bit too easy, but I don't think it will. And then we have resource given, and let's make this a little bit less forgiving, because I've been too generous with that before so we're gonna be a little bit harder on myself it really isn't that hard it just gives me less material to work with so let's begin now we start out here in the middle of frickin nowhere and why is that thank you those were not my colors okay you're a humble junk trader isolated on your land amidst your collection of broken down cars and refurbished military vehicles in times of peace, your centralized location meant great profit as people from the entire nation came by, came to buy scrap from you. Now your location just means you are in the way of the military war machine. Who will decide you need to go first? You will find out soon. And this is the campaign that has a block limit, or volume limit, not block limit. And you have 2,000 to work with. So, yay. We have to build small. And first thing I'm going to do, even though you have a quad 60mm gun mounted on you, you are not useful to me. So, say goodbye, Dauntless. And now we're just yeah. going to pull these two out of play because they're a little bit too far away, and that causes lag. It's amazing. Now, what do we need to do? Yeah. Up here, we're going to set you... What do you need? You just need fuel, so we're going to keep you full of fuel yada yada and you keep no material because you're just there to provide material yes. same with you we're just gonna quickly get that set up we're gonna go into here you are the same no material and you what do you have keep full of ammo and keep full of or keep most of fuel so full of ammo and full of material so haha -ha. there we go we're all set up that was just something necessary get rid of the damn bars so I have built two little things off camera and I'm going to show them off right now so first off damn escape key you're broken we're going into here we have the new white wolf army serving the mighty white wolf now and we have a 5,000 material tank. It's not my best tank by any means, but it's a tank. And here we have the ugliest thing I have ever built. But we will not be seeing it much, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, they're ugly. Okay, you go back here. Way. You go back On here. And we're going to... wait, no. Pull all. Repair you two. And we'll be golden. There we go. Alright, so the transport, which is under me currently, is basically a half track, except a lot uglier. I've never made something so ugly, as I said. And here we have the A1, which is, well, it's basically the equivalent of a light tank. It has a very small clip and doesn't reload very fast, but it has a pretty devastating dual 60mm gun. So that's the benefit of that. And our transport is done, so let's quickly play this. Hello, transport, how are you? Are you doing good? That, okay, you are not doing good. Why? Why, why, why? I did not want to be attached to you. Why are you... Why? What is going on? 
No. No, that's weird. Play it again. Why? I don't want to be on it, damn it. There. As I said, ugliest thing I have ever made. It is a, basically a moving block with slight sloping on it. Only benefit to it? Oh, wow, look at that. It has a bunch of material storage. And it goes pretty fast for its size. What does it go? 19 meters a second. Isn't the fastest, but it does what it needs to do. So, we will never be seeing these again. I just wanted to show everyone who was curious. Now you can stop being curious because it's ugly. Alright, you have a very dangerous route to travel. We're going to send you in loops. Just like two way. times maybe and then come On back. Okay, have a nice time transport. And our A1 is done. Hello there, A1. Now I don't want to be attached to this thing. How many times do I have to say it? Here's the A1. Does not look good. It's got the turret of basically a Draco. For those of you who know what the B1 Draco is, I am so sorry. Its turret is too big for its body, but that's okay. Kind of gives it its own unique feel. It has basically the rear of a VFM Mark V, so yay. And for those of you who are wondering, I do actually have quite a bit of experience with modern and World War II era tanks. And tanks up to probably the 19... late, late 1920s. Maybe early 30s. So this is what happens when a B-1 Draco breeds with a VFM. God, I'm so sorry, A-1. But this thing is very damn fast. It goes 66 meters a second. This is the ultimate light tank. As I said, dual barrel 60 mil with a 36 shell clip or a 35 shell clip. I don't remember. But it has a very limited detection system. Visual camera for the front just to detect things at first and then the coincidence rangefinder locks on. So that's all we really need, since the Coincidence Rangefinder is pretty accurate with range, and quite accurate with angle, angular, surprisingly. But range is pretty good. I mean, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. Now, here's the A1. Yay, it's all done, it's all loaded up, and that will be our main defense. So, A1, get out of here. Now we just need to either wait to be attacked, or build more A1s. I don't know. Do we have enough material to even build another? No, we don't. Okay. You know what? What is this? Is this an infinite zone? This better be an infinite zone. Yes, we have an infinite zone. We have a very large reserve zone. And what is this zone? A very large reserve zone. Okay. So we're going to just heavily modify this. So pull you into play, and let's begin. Yep. Alright, you. I bet we can see the truck. Yep, there it goes. You are very sad. You are a very, very sad vehicle. Or land mass thing. You have one job, and I'm going to make it much, much easier on you. Good sir. So, boom. And then a boom. And then a boom. Look at this pathetic engine. This is just sad. This needs to be redone entirely. I cannot accept this. So, let's actually build a different engine just so I'm not messing stuff up. Okay. Pull that out of here. We're just going to make a little doohickey over here. And let's build another engine. A much more efficient engine because we don't want to waste a ton of fuel on this stuff. So let's do crankshaft, cylinders, plop these on here. And how are we going to do this? Much more fuel efficient. Probably put superchargers on this instead. Yeah, <laughs> this doesn't have enough power to really, I guess, 
warrant using turbochargers because all they do is just make it a little bit better for high RPM engines, except right now we're using a low RPM engine. So, fuel engines, superchargers, let's get a couple of these going. Okay, now use this. And then up we go, up we go, up we go. Okay, it's going to annoy me if I don't make it perfect. There we go. That works. Looks okay to me. <laughs> Except we might need just some exhausts to push out some of that heat. So there we go. This is a very, very awkward engine. I have made much better in my time on From the Depths, but right now, this works. So, yay. Why are these still here? It's annoying me. But anyways, there we go. We have a much better engine, much more fuel efficient, and, well, it works better. So, hip, 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 hip. There. Aha! Even more fuel efficiency! Okay. So now that we've redone our land rig entirely, let's actually copy this and then paste it on the other ones. But I think we need to edit you as well. Yeah, because you have the most inefficient fuel refinery I have ever seen. And you're just inefficient all around. You have basically nothing that is efficient. You look very nice, though. I have to give kudos to that, but... We're not looking for nice stuff here, we're looking for actual usage. So, now we need to go into miscellaneous? No, that's in resources. What am I saying? And fuel refinery. We can do those. Um, we have a desalter. Let's see, would another coker work? Yes, another coker would work. And we're going to need two more crackers. <laughs> Gonna need those crackers. Why is this not working the way I want it to? 41 material. Okay. 54. Ma oh, it is getting smaller. I'm just stupid. God. Okay. We are at our volume limit. Well, I think I'm going to need to tear down some of you, or at least make a new thing, because that's why do you have why do you, why why do you have an aim point selection? You don't even have a weapon system, do you? No, there is no weapon system on you. What? There's no weapon system. I, I'm not going crazy. There isn't a weapon system. Why did you... S why do you have that? I'm curious now. Okay, you know what? Never mind. There we have it. We're up to 6.2 efficiency. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That's no good. <laughs> That's no good at all. So I think we're gonna tear this apart. Or at least make a new base of operations when we have the chance, but right now we do not, so let's make another tank. We're gonna make another A1. Hello A1. How are you guys? You're only 5,000 material. And these two, when they are placed together, will be perfectly self-sufficient because they can repair each other On my way. and all that nice stuff, so repair that please. And we're just going to wait for something to happen, because right now we're just watching a truck go in circles and watching two tanks sit there. How fun. Well, the sentry certainly helped. The Coast Guard is here to help the n army because, well, logic apparently. We're going to bring in the Coast Guard in the middle of the land, but, you know, who cares. Now we have the first light armored division and we're going to zoom down here. Jesus. 66 meters a second. That's how fast these little suckers go. Oh, 
They are fairly unstable in battle, but no matter how hard they turn, they cannot tip over. They used to, until I made their bottom out of lead, then they didn't. So, let's actually quickly check something. On the brink of war. Oh, what are you going to do? Stab me. I'm waiting for the actual event. I know there is a time defense, so I guess I'll be back when that happens. I just wanted to be a little bit weird. Oh, wait, I didn't have to try very hard. I don't know what just happened, but there are forces randomly moving around right now, and it's getting me kind of worried. So, I guess we get to see what's going on, maybe? I don't know. Well, I've been waiting here for a while, and I think I'm supposed to attack them. But I've seen that they attack you first, so... I really don't know what to think. My A1s are ready at their doorstep, and if they come anywhere in this territory... Well, I have a 66 meter a second set of tanks, and they are ready to say hi. So I guess, once again, I'll be back. It's just that was really random and kind of startling, so... Oh boy. Okay, it's actually been about 10 minutes on 10 times speed, so it's been over an hour in-game, and I don't think I can wait much longer, so... The... even though that is the Deepwater Guard symbol, they are now called the Dustwind Gypsies. Screw you guys. I hate you. That didn't look like it did anything to my other on my way. groups, so here we go. Speed 66. Give me... give me a bonus to this combat. Where are we gonna fight, huh? What, what, what are you throwing at me? Oh no, a King Cobra and a Sand Viper. With all your little shits. Do you s actually think you have a chance against five of the mighty A1? <laughs> These things suck, you guys probably win. Yes? I say they suck, except early game, early combat initiate yes. initiating. Yeah, great. These guys yes. can do some major damage. So, the first light tank force would like to have a word with you. Oh, some of you guys don't even have your guns loaded. Here we go. And we're away. I need to get attached to this thing. Ow. Yep. See? They try to tip, but they don't. We're fine. Only one of you has your gun loaded, don't you? And it's you. Aha! All five of us are being stupid. That, that, that's to be expected, honestly. I don't know if I expect anything better. But hello there. You have a very annoying gun. Did you know that? Nope, we're not tipping over, by the way. What are you? Oh, you're one of the cars. So you have a massive cram cannon on you, so that can't be good when it fires. Where are my tanks? There you guys are. We're gonna bugger you up. Oh, jeez. It's getting out of the way. Ow. I call them light tanks, but they are very heavily armored on the hull. I don't know if I like the smoke generators, though. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. That was just close quarters combat, and that was kind of rude. Oh, stop it! You guys are making me look bad! You tards. Scrap it so that I get everything. No, they stole it, you wankers! Here's the problem with the A1s. Yes, good. All of you are loaded now. Please kill it. Yeah, here we go. Destroy it. Kill it for its sins. It has committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Kill it. So I think we're about to run out of ammo once more. Yep. I have the feeling 
this is going to be a resounding defeat. Back, fiend, with your stupid main gun. It's the only reason these have issues with their gun is because I had to make them so small. I am not used to building tanks. I am used to building big things that can actually do damage, not this bullshit. But no, now we have tiny tanks that go way too fast for their own good. Ow. I needed that barrel, kind of. I can barely keep up with it on my camera. Dang it. Now you're facing your butt towards it. You know your battery and engine is back there? Yeah, you kind of need those. Oh boy. I really hate my design skills. I have none of them. And I think this battle is glitched. Because you guys are supposed to have little things. Yep, they're under the ground. Time to restart the battle! I just realized I hadn't saved before this battle started. Oh, I hate life. My tanks suck. They suck entirely. They have no good qualities. Mostly because they were designed by me. Oh. I'm impressed. You actually killed... Or you're killing it. You fast little bastards. There we go. We're finally back in it, and I'm back to basically where I was, except we haven't declared war on the Deepwater Guard yet. So, did a tiny bit of modifications to the A1s. Now their internal turret has sacrificed a bit of gun cooldown for a much faster reload. Ahem, that's what it needed. So now the guns are a little bit less autocannon-like and more like rapid-fire main cannon. Which is still a very good thing for a light tank. I could just set them to be 120 mils, but I feel like that would be a little bit overkill for what they are. So, now we have the choice of what to do with all these. We're lagging a bit, that's that's exactly why, because all those were there. And one problem now, they go 3 meters a second. God damn it, now they're screwed up, now they don't go 66, go! That's right, I have to set you guys to combat for some reason. And away they go! Onwards, light tank division. You guys are still very stupid. Good to know! <laughs> At least one of you has the right idea. Which one is that? He deserves an award. Going 65 up here. You, my friend! You are the new... A1 to B. And there's still some idiots back here, and there's still some idiots who... Oh, you managed to tip over. Wow. I actually congratulate you. That takes skill. Now go, stupids. And away we go. I feel like I'm on British cruiser tanks or something. Jeez. Oh, well, sudden stop. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't just uh, have... A little bit of momentum issues and go flying off into the next square, but here we are. So, you know what? Deepwater Guard, I don't much appreciate you, and I need to change that from the British flag. Or the British, the Royal Navy flag. So, screw you guys. No one liked you. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take it a step further. Insult, 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 insult. There we go. That sounds about like the deep water guard. Now we have to do that for the Dustwind Gypsies. Okay, so I figured out how to do this. So, what are we fighting this time? Fighting the 8th Army. It's a desert boa. Wait, is that literally called? No, that's the 4th Army. Alright. Face. I don't know how their guns work now, so... I'm not entirely certain that these will be nearly as potent as they were before, but at least their gun reloads a lot faster. So, it's kind of a give and take, except there was too much take from the past, so... Hello, I'm going to ride on you if that's okay. Make sure the world is loaded in properly, and begin the battle. Charge onwards, my B1, or my A1s. You are not Dracos. 
Don't knock me off. Don't knock me off, please. I, w I would much appreciate not getting knocked off. Oh god, it's Mad Max! Why are we fighting Mad Max? Oh god, what are you three doing? Ow! Cease fire, that's a friend. Uh oh. Ow. Uh oh. Ow. Uh oh. Ow. Stop that. That's. Leave my A. Ow. Okay. Ow. I'm sorry, A1. That was a little bit unfair. Yes, murder that bastard. Repair this. We shall not lose. Oh god. Oh god, Desert Boa. Desert Boa. What's going on? Stop. Stop doing that to my A1. That is rape. Stop it. A1, I'm so sorry. <laughs> A1 is going, what is this? I didn't sign up for this. Okay, we still have all, all of them. And this one got... Stop that! What are you doing? Oh, since the trailer is a sub-vehicle, it has glitched into the main vehicle. Oh god, watch out, A1. A1, you're getting a little bit too close for comfort there. Oh god. They're still reloading, so that's still a problem. Oh, nope. They reload a lot faster, as I said. They just fire a little bit slower. And there we go. Wait, no. I could have captured that. God damn it, me. Wah! Wait, wait. I can still get there. I can still get there in time. Yet. I will, I will get the extra. Yes. Ho ho. The war rig trailer. I'm gonna scrap you. And we're going to collect all that delicious resource and repair. The fun part is that these guys can repair their own. So, yay. <laughs> We're not completely useless when out in the field. Yay. The A1 is fully repaired. And now I can't see a damn thing. Who boy. I think we might wait back a little bit and wait for the next attack just to see if they actually do attack. Or we could continue pushing onwards and murdering them with the light tanks that are a little bit psycho. Because, well, it's Commander Psycho. We'll see. We'll get back. Actually, guys, looking at the time, it looks like I am all out of time for this episode. I didn't realize how long it took just to get back to where I was. But here we are. We actually did it. We've killed our first enemy, and I'm going to stand on one of you, so don't leave me behind. Thank you. But anyways, it was an interesting experience. I'm definitely going to do more of this. It was quite entertaining once I got the hang of it. Oh, trying to get these tanks to work, though, at first was annoying, and I got really mad one time, but it was just my own stupidity, because apparently I'm used to AI being set to combat mode when they spawn in, but... No, apparently now they just get turned on, so... A little bit of rage could have been soothed by me not being an idiot. But anyways, guys, again, that is all the time I have for this episode. Next off, we'll try and advance more, and I will try to get some drones going. So I do have an entire drone carrier ship that you guys have not seen, so I will be using the drones from it and making maybe a guidance tank. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that is all the time I have for this episode. So, as for now, Demerora, signing off. <laughs>